it's always, it's always great to get to the start of the games and, and this is what it's all about. It's about sport. Um, we've been here for two weeks, so we landed uh, two weeks ago now. The time flies, but uh, over the last two weeks, just preparing the ground for all the athletes to come in, uh, making a house a home and, and, and putting in everything that they could need from, from performance equipment, gyms, through to, through to um, Team GB rugs and, and, and Team GB mugs all over the place. So we're, we're, we're ready. We're ready for the athletes and, um, and, the, and they're here. And, and as we said, the sport is about to begin. So, well, it's already started, of course, because we've got, we've had the mixed curling and, and, and the moguls. Um, so we're well underway. So yes, yeah, so I was appointed 18 months ago now, um, and I do remember the phone call that I had, which was um, offering me the role, which is it, it's a huge, huge honour. I just, you know, if you'd said to me I was going to be in this role when I joined the BOA in uh, in 2010, um, I, I don't think I would have believed you. So so first and foremost, it's, it's a huge honour. Um, and when the phone call came in and they said that, you know, they thought I'd be great for the role. First of all, I had I had no idea that I was the first female chef to mission. So. Of course, you know I don't think it, it defines me in the in the role, but of course, if I can connect with with um, with anybody that finds it um, inspiring, then of course that's 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 fantastic. But I do remember as part of the phone call, they said, "Don't worry." by the time the games comes around, the pandemic will be long gone. So I think I did call them. I did, uh, I did, call, I did have that conversation recently and say, uh, do you remember what you said to me when you appointed me? Um, and of course, uh, we, we're not quite there yet. Well, I think, you know, usually we get into country. So we would, um, we would, as an, as a, as a National Olympic Committee, we would probably into country about seven times at least before the game. So we'd come in and we'd check everything out. So when we, when we get on the, on the ground for the games themselves, we, we know what we're dealing with. Um, we, we did get into country before, before the pandemic. So we've been in a couple of times and we've had a huge amount of support from the embassy on the ground. So they've been doing a lot of work for us. So it, 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 it's just been very, it's just been different, I think. Is, is what I would say and of course that's us and then the other side is of course the athletes um, and, and what they've had to experience in terms of, of, of qualifying and preparing for these games but again you know they have been they have been living this for two years they've been living with a pandemic um, training competing qualifying and um, through that period so it, it's it's not new it's just different um, and it, it does of course bring bring with it different challenges but I think I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of how the whole team has managed themselves through this period yeah, so we look at we've got a team team of 50 um, and we're competing across more disciplines than ever before and across those more across those disciplines more competitive than ever before. So we've got um, athletes have had great seasons coming into this um, just looking across that whether it's Charlotte Banks in the in the uh, in the snowball cross or Brad Hall and, and his crew in the four and two man um, and, and so the list goes on in, in mixed curling. Um, and I've, I've got particular interest in, in Kirsty Muir, um, uh, who was in, in Lausanne uh, at the Youth Olympic Games two years ago, winning a silver there um, with, with me as, as my first role as chef de mission at those Youth Olympic Games. And of course, she's here. And what how much has she, she come on over the last two years and in particularly this season? So across the board, we've got we've got um, really talented athletes. And I think uh, they have every opportunity now to just go out um, and do themselves proud. And, and of course, um, deliver their very best performance and, and if they do that um, we, will, we will have the success that I think everybody hopes we can have. We obviously don't have um, we don't have um, friends and family here supporting so any any support back home and support of these these amazing athletes is, is great so thank you.